Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick unboxing and first look at the Sabrent Rocket 4 Plus 4TB Gen 4 NVMe SSD. This is the largest capacity Gen 4 SSD on the market right now, also the fastest. So at $800, US while expensive, you are absolutely getting every ounce of performance possible. In fact, nothing on the market can touch it. So what are read and write speeds like if you are actually using this in a Gen 4 compatible motherboard that is either in a laptop or desktop form, which by the way, with the desktop, you are going to want to pick up uh, this heatsink that Sabrent sent over as well. Absolutely a must have. This is about 25 US dollars, of course, compatible with any of their Gen 4 drives. But this $800 drive is going to give you, again, just unparalleled speed if you're utilizing it in the Gen 4 capacity. So we're looking at over 7,000 on the read and over 6,000 on the write. If you're using it in a Gen 3 capable motherboard, then you're gonna still be looking at one of the fastest drives out there, essentially uh, 3,500 on the read and a little over 3,000 on the write. So uh, I've covered the two terabyte version of this, but of course this is the way to ste step it up if you need additional storage capacity uh, beyond the two terabyte mark. Of course, right now it is available in a one terabyte flavor, two terabyte, and four terabytes. So I'm excited to share this with all of you. Eight terabytes, um, still not available. I'm not sure when it will be. Um, nothing, at least from my contact at Sabrent. And this, by the way, of course, was sent over for review purposes for those of you that are wondering. I am a big fan of what Sabrent continues to do because no one else in the industry is pushing the envelope when it comes to high-speed storage like Sabrent. So let's take a look at this. I'm not expecting anything different from what the two terabyte looks like, which I actually have right here. And this is not a Thunderbolt 3 drive. For those of you that have been following my coverage of the Asus Zephyrus G15, you already know, unfortunately, that's an AMD driven uh, machine. So no Gen 4 support. Now, if you have an Intel 11th Gen based laptop, then you will likely have the ability to utilize a drive like this. You just have to make sure the power draw is sufficient because these are hungry drives. I mean, they're the fastest on earth. And by the way, the performance between the two and the four is approximately the same, but it'll be interesting to see how the four terabyte benchmarks. But in my opinion, the four terabyte is definitely ideal as is the two for anyone looking to build a beast, whether, I mean, ideal obviously for desktop capacity. Again, you need this if you're putting the, this drive into a desktop, do not, uh, attempt to stick a drive like this or the two terabyte into uh, your motherboard's standard port uh, without a heatsink uh, because it just will end up getting throttled. Uh, these drives at the speeds that they yield do get hot and they really must have a heatsink. So uh, take a quick look at the heatsink as well. And now the application I personally will end up using this in. I may test this out, believe it or not, in my G15, but ultimately this is definitely going to be reserved for a desktop build. I mean, it's just obvious that that's where it belongs because that's where I'm gonna be able to get full performance out of uh, the Gen 4 NVMe. So that's where I eventually plan on it landing. Uh, and, you know, the heatsink, again, affordable at 25 US. I'll include a link in the description to both. As you can see, the heatsink itself, the screws, the tool, uh, everything you're going to need basically uh, to put this together. Hopefully I don't make too much of a mess. Thermal pads, of course, included and just, you know, really solid, well-made and, well, you know, what you would expect from uh, Sabrent, get that in focus here, uh, for a drive like this, or again, the two terabyte that I have seated inside of this also really affordable uh, NVMe uh, external enclosure under 30 bucks. Uh, again, not Thunderbolt 3 or 4, but uh, still the throughput on this is anywhere between 7 and 900 megabytes a second. So can't really be too disappointed with that. Tool free, really easy to open. I'll probably include a link in the description of that guy too, because it's one of my favorite external uh, enclosures right now, just because it's just very versatile, easy to use. But really, I, I like the style on this too. It is distinct. 
uh, subdued, nothing too crazy. So I'm excited to put this to use eventually. Again, the additional thermal pads, some brackets uh, for mounting, the applicable screws, as well as the tool to actually mount it all. And I'm just excited to share this all with you because again, this is the fastest uh, four terabyte drive on earth and nothing else touches it. Of course, until Saverint decides to make an, an eight terabyte version, which as I mentioned at the top of the video, I don't know when that's gonna happen, but I wouldn't put it past them. I mean, it's literally every few months now, Saverint just makes my head explode because they end up pushing yet another amazing piece of kit. And this four terabyte drive is yet another piece of incredible technology here in 2021 that changes the game. And just to give you an idea how fast these drives are, uh, at least in my experience, the one laptop I have right now that is driven by a Gen 4 NVMe is uh, the Vio that I have to the side, the, the uh, Vio Z. And when that arrived and I had to do a recovery of the system, it literally was done. Granted, nothing was really installed on there because Vio is a very clean install, but it was literally done in a few minutes where traditionally a system recovery, it could take 20 minutes with a really fast Gen 3 NVMe drive, uh, but this fourth gen really just lights things up. Uh, for average users, this is not a necessity, but for anyone who's looking for bleeding edge, anyone who's doing a tremendous amount of video editing, photo editing, large files, uh, you know, cinema-based video, these type of drives are a dream. But that's it. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. Hit that like button. And as usual, please feel free to subscribe and please stay safe. Later.